and I'm very honored to be here and especially more honored to um, be talking about this art because it's very close to my heart and I had, um, like uh, Aaron said, I had the opportunity to learn this art from the late Andrew Grunholder and when I do the presentations of the, um, the classes, I always give Andrew recognition and you can see his pictures up there in the center because he's always in the center of my heart and the reason that we have this art revived again. Wood is rare in the Aleutians where I'm from. Um, we don't have trees. We start off with a piece of wood and again they would use driftwood. Normally they would use yellow cedar. After we chisel out um, the hat, we get it very thin. You can see how thin this is. Almost paper thin, so it's getting ready to bend. You can see it already bone a little bit. We boil them in water for 30 minutes. You know, hold them down with the rock and they're, they're weighted as soon as we get them out. We have gloves on and then stick them in the jig and they're in there for 24 hours and they're dry. After we take them out of the jig, we sand them, continue to sand them and then we oil them. The inside is always painted red and, and you'll see that with my hats. So I'll show you in, in a minute here. They're stained red on the inside because they're supposed to depict they're alive and part of the man. Dolores will show you how we do the patterns. We just, I use stencils or I copy out of there. And then so we just trace the design on there. One thing that um, you could see that was very prominent was the spiral design. And of course, that's a representation of water. And of course, we're surrounded by water in the Aleutian for Black region. We, the, the men would wear these while out at sea, of course, around the water, so it's going to reflect the sun. But also, it shielded the man's eyes, so he would not be seen by the sea mammal. And then they believed that the sea mammal would give himself to the man, the hunter with the most elaborate hat. So, so from a young hunter to um, a young, younger man, and then a married man would wear this in the community, a long hat, and only one man per village. He would wear this hat, he would be the chief. 